Hi, I'm Keisha Dixon, creator of the Monetize Your Mind Success System and author of Visibility Vixen for Sisters and White Girls Too. Are you feeling overwhelmed due to overcommitments this holiday season? Are you tired, exhausted, and broke because of all of the commitments or feelings of commitments you've made this season? How much justification do you need to set a boundary or to just say no? Let's test it. Imagine you're going to have a confrontation and set a boundary and you're not allowed to give a justification. You're not allowed to help people understand. Like you can't say, no, I can't go because I have another commitment or no, I can't buy another present because I have my own debt to pay. Instead, you can say something like, no, I don't feel like it. I'd much rather do my own thing. No, I'm not going to spend money on a gift. I'm going to pay for something of my own uh, uh, for myself. No worries. I'm not going to really ask you to do this. I just want you to picture yourself doing it and watch for that urge to give a whole bunch of justification because it's that urge that's showing you something really important. It's showing you that on some level, maybe a hidden level, you believe in order for you to set a boundary or you believe in order for me to set a boundary, maybe be a bit selfish, that you have to be so overworked, so overscheduled, so sick, so tired, or so broke, then and only then can you say, I'm sorry, I can't do this for you anymore. And people pleasers do that, right? They overschedule and overwhelm their life, or they find themselves in sick, or it, 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 they find themselves sick or in pain, or simply in chaos. So they have a good reason to set a boundary. And I know this because I was one of the biggest offenders in that. And it really played out in my money. I was so accustomed to having people ask to borrow money and then never pay it back. And then I wouldn't want to have a confrontation with them of asking for my own money back based on the promises they had made to me to repay me. So secretly I was left feeling resentful that I would even be placed in the awkward position of having to ask for my own money back. And I would also feel, part of me, would feel like it would be selfish for me to even want my earned money back so that I could cover my own needs, my own expenses. So to protect myself from having to even think about having that confrontation, I would continuously place myself in debt, in overwhelming debt. I would be swimming, drowning in debt just so that I could justify to others that I wasn't going to allow them to steal from me. And make no mistake, when a person borrows money without paying it back or uses a service without making an arrangement to pay for that service, they're stealing. But people pleasers like myself, we internalize that, right? There's a part of us that, that's functioning in, I don't have the right to have or it would be selfish for me to have. And there are very unconscious people out there in the world who prey on this type of internal conflict that people, pe people pleasers carry. They use a service or they'll borrow money, they'll manipulate and they'll scheme, or at best they'll lie to themselves even about their own ability to come through on their promise. And they might even call you selfish if you ask for a repayment. So people pleasers just kind of collapse at the idea of setting a boundary, especially a money boundary, without giving justification. And that will keep the people pleaser broke because that is the justification. Can I borrow money? Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm really broke. I'm broke too. Accept me, I'm in the same boat as you. I would if I could, rather than simply saying no. So what happens inside of you as you imagine setting a money boundary or any boundary 
without giving justification. Just imagine yourself and the other person there and let it be the really scary version, right? Like your biggest fear happens and there you are, you're saying no. And their response just throws you off. It blindsides you. Maybe they're attacking you or guilting you or begging you. Just notice what you see and what you feel. And notice where in your body you're feeling it. Because there really is this mind and body connection to the very thought of setting a healthy boundary for yourself. And everything you're seeing and feeling right now are the exact fears you have and the exact feelings you have and the exact body response you have every single time you try to avoid um, setting a healthy boundary or every single time you go into overkill, into your people-pleasing mode. And why do I want you to see this? Because clarity is the first step to transformation and people pleasers tend to have such a heart of compassion. But when that people pleasing is in overdrive, it will suck the life force out of you. And you end up stressed and overwhelmed and hurt and betrayed and broke. And I don't want that for you. As a people pleaser, you get to keep your heart of compassion. And you also get to set healthy boundaries. And there is a way that you can do both. And I guide my clients to do both. I'm Keisha Dixon, the Tapping Queen, creator of the Monetize Your Mind Success System and author of Visibility Vixen for Sisters and White Girls Too. I guide women to shatter their internal glass ceiling as they double their income. So if you're ready, to start setting healthy boundaries for yourself without the fear and without the justification, let's chat and determine whether or not I can help get you there. Click on the link below to schedule a free call. Have a great day, everyone.